Immunotherapy is based on the natural mechanisms that our immune system developed to destroy abnormal cells such as cancer cells. Applied to cancer, it is called immuno-oncology. To have an efficient cancer therapy, in particular for solid tumors, it needs not only to detect and destroy cancer cells, but also to inhibit the formation of the blood vessels that feed the tumor, abrogate the protection mechanisms settled by the tumor to escape from the immune system, and restore the ability of the immune system to rapidly recognize and fight potential further aggressions by the same cancer type. Immuno-oncology aims to provide the immune system with natural weapons to fight cancer cells. This is the principle of CAR T cells. A CAR T cell is produced from a T cell that was genetically engineered to express on its surface an artificial receptor called a chimeric receptor. This chimeric receptor is most generally based on an antibody that binds an antigen specific to a certain type of cancer. This way, it is possible to guide a killer T lymphocyte to its target, the cancer cell. This CAR T technology consists of collecting T cells from the blood, genetically modify them by adding a cancer-specific chimeric receptor, and then injecting the engineered cells back to the patient. Once they are re-injected, CAR T cells may proliferate in the body and bind to the targeted antigen on cancer cells in order to eliminate tumors. The Celiad T-cell immunotherapy approach is unique. It builds on work conducted by Professor Charles Sentman and his team at Dartmouth College in the U.S. Professor Sentman had the idea to create a new type of CAR T-cells, NCAR T-cells, that combine the properties of both main defenders in the immune system, namely T-cells and NK cells, to join their forces to combat cancer efficiently. NCAR2 T-cells are T-cells engineered to express a receptor naturally expressed by NK cells, the receptor NKG2D. In contrast to antibodies used to design classical CAR T-cell constructs, NKG2D receptor, part of the innate immune system, does not target a single antigen present only in a specific type of cancer but rather a family of molecules expressed at the surface of several types of cancer cells called NKG2D ligands. Results from preclinical studies performed on mouse models have demonstrated that NCAR2 displays unique therapeutic properties. Indeed, since the NKG2D receptor recognizes eight different types of ligands that are expressed by most cancer cell types, NCAR2 eliminated cancer cells forming both solid and liquid tumors. Preclinical studies have also demonstrated that NKG2D ligands are not only expressed by tumor cells, but also by blood vessels that feed the tumor, and by the cells that collaborate and protect the cancer cells from the immune system. Therefore, the NCAR2 T cells might completely eradicate the tumor. Moreover, as demonstrated in preclinical studies, NCAR2 treatment also helped the host immune system to develop a long-term memory response against tumor antigens. Hence, if a cancer type already identified and destroyed by NCAR2 T cells were to reappear again, it would automatically be detected and fought by the immune system, a bit like a vaccination. This means that the NCAR2 therapy developed by Celiad has the potential to completely destroy the tumor on a long-term basis, which makes it a very promising therapy to fight cancer. <laughs>